boys and girls. Today I'm going to show you how to access and play an online game called Hit the Button. So if you go onto a search engine on your computer or laptop or tablet, and if you maybe ask an adult to help you with this, if you type in top marks hit the button, it should bring up some options for you. we're going to go for the top one. This is the page that appears when you click on that link on Google and we're going to use the number bonds um, section of this. So I'll show you that in a little minute. You can get apps um, available for this but it works just as well on the desktop version. Okay, so I'm going to press on number bonds because that's what we're working on. That's the green one down here. And we're going to be making 20. You might want to try out some of the addition ones later, but just now we're going to look at the number bonds up to 10. Okay, so here are the instructions. It says, You'll be shown a number, hit the button that makes the total up to 10. I'm going to show you how to play this. I'm going to show you what happens when you get some right. And I'll also show you what happens when you get some wrong. If you notice at the bottom of the screen, it gives you a timer. You've got one minute to try and get as many as you can. And you've also got a score, which means you can improve each time. I will also show you how to put it onto full screen so that you can see it a little bit better and it'll cover all of your screen on your laptop or on your tablet, whichever you're using. Okay, are you ready to play against Mrs. Donaldson? Let's see how many I can get in one minute. Let's play. So it gives you your number at the top. The number we've got is four. So four and what make 10? We're always thinking about 10 each time. I know it's four and six. Hmm, I'm gonna put that volume up so that you can hear what happens. Five and five. 10 and zero. Eight and two. Five and six. <gasps> I didn't get that one right. My number went red, but it's not changed. It gives me another chance to get it right. My score has changed. I've now tried five times and I've got four right. Five and five. Three and seven. Ten and zero. Six and six. Oh no, six and four. Eight and three. Two and eight. I can hear my countdown. Oh. There we go, my time is up. I scored 10 out of 12. When I got one wrong, I didn't give up. I kept going. I wanted you to know what happens when you don't get one right. It's okay because you can keep going. And if you notice, there is a play button so I can play again and I can try and beat my score. I didn't put mine on full screen, but I'll show you what it looks like on full screen. There we go. Now you can see it a bit clearer. It takes up your whole screen and it means that you can just see the game and don't get distracted by anything else. Mrs. McDonald and I would really like you to have a go of this if you can and let us know how you get on. Maybe play it a few times. Can you improve each time? It's a bit like your um, rainbow words that you're learning. Can you improve on your times each time you're reading them? Can you get quicker? This is your number bond practice. This is only for up to 10. You've been practicing numbers five, six, seven, eight, and nine this week, but this is just practicing number bonds to 10. And like I say, on the menu, there's also some addition games that you might want to try and give yourself a little um, challenge. I, you can try doing some addition maybe want to challenge yourself um, with addition to 10 or addition within 20. See how you get on and let us know in the learning journals.